Hello, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about how to create that really cool trailer title like you see in the trailer of Fast 8. So the typical flair kind of intro, it's going to be really awesome, really simple to create, but if you want to follow along with this tutorial, you will need a plugin called Optical Flares. It's, it's from Video Copilot, I will put a link to it in the description, but this is what you need if you want to follow along with this tutorial. If you don't want to follow this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel, you can also always buy the exact same project files um, that we use to actually make the intro of this tutorial. Uh, you can buy them and easily just manipulate the text within After Effects or Premiere. We have two versions on our website that you can buy. Also, if you don't have the Optical Flares plugin, there is a version where you don't need the actual plugin to open up the files and change the text. So uh, all those links are in the description and for those that do want to know how this is created, let's get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and the first thing that I will do is go to composition and create a new composition. Make this full HD, rename this to main comp like usual and we're going to make this around 10 seconds long. Once here I will just toggle the transparency grid like so and then I will go to my text tool and click right over here. I'm actually using this kind of font here, the sans serif bl -f whatever. I found that font on devfont.com. You can find a bunch of fonts on there, but this is like something that looks pretty close to on the actual title of Fast and the Furious. So I will write Fast and Furious like so. I will hold Ctrl and press A on the keyboard and then just click on this one, one here to just swap the colors. So um, it's solid colors like so. Then I'll go to my selection tool and actually um, put it right here, make it a little bit smaller like so and make sure that your text is actually centered right here and then you can go to the align tab and just center out your text by clicking on these two center buttons okay so we have our text great and now what you want to do is actually make the f a little bit bigger just like in the real title so we'll go uh, to our text tool select the f right here i'm going to make this around like 300 right here and then i'm also going to lower this to like minus 40 45 same for the other F right here, we're going to change this to 100 and minus 145. And there we go, so now we have a new title, looks pretty good. If you want more spacing in between the F and the U, you can just click in between, hold Alt and press the right arrow key. That's going to add a little bit more pixels in there to and give it some more spacing overall. So this look looks pretty cool. Uh, for the S, I'm going to do the same thing, a little bit more spacing in here and for the T, a little bit more to the left something like this and of course if you would want to do this perfectly um, take your time and once you're done click OK click on your text and go to edit duplicate and then I'm going to switch the colors right here and then I'm going to click here to make it um, outer strokes like so and then I will go to layer layer styles and add a gradient overlay like so and then we'll open up that gradient overlay by clicking on this arrow go to edit gradient and here we want to change a few colors. So the black, I'm going to turn them white or actually very light gray. Then a little bit further away, so I'm going to keep it like similar colors, a little bit uh, darker. And then a little bit further, I'm going to darken it up pretty good like so. Again, a little bit further away, even darker. And then right here, I'm going to brighten it up again. And then right here at the end, I'm going to make it very dark like so. Maybe this one we can actually um, darken this as well. And then at the end, maybe you want some some last minute gloss in there. And just play around with these settings until you're satisfied. Once you're done, click OK. And then you can toggle off the transparency grid so you can actually see how it will look in the final result. You can also drag this below your tile so we have just a... Um, yeah, like a softer stroke um, and then you can increase the stroke right here if you want to. So this is also completely up to you. Um, I'm going for seven and now comes the fun part. It's the background to make it look interesting. Uh, so we'll select our text, go layer, pre-compose our text, move all the attributes and just rename this to title. So we have this in a composition to make it a little bit easier uh, to work with. And then I'm going to right click new and create a new solid layer and rename this to flare, click OK. And now we're going to create an effect video copilot optical flares and actually go into the options of our optical flares. That will open up a new window like so and I will delete all of these here. The idea is to make our own flare. So we'll go to lens objects, custom and then uh, drag down a little bit and see what we can use. 
just pick whatever you like i'm going to pick these two right here and maybe some more of these um this one maybe okay this is pretty cool i'm going to change the color to a nice blue color right here and click ok and of course you can also go into individuals right here because some of these already have colors and you can also change these colors um, in here so uh, maybe this one also make it a little bit darker click ok and ok and there we have it our new lens flare we'll toggle the switches and go for a screen mode of well <laughs> mode and blending mode of screen and then we can uh, reposition this right here I'm also going to head back into it and maybe change it a little bit brighter something more like so and also for these uh, I'm also going to change the color right here I think it's And this one right here I want to change the color okay so this one actually had this um, color shift right here under the dynamic triggering I had to change that to blue because I didn't like the white part here but now we have a little bit more interesting things going on in the background as well so now we have our first flare like so I'll position this right here we can actually duplicate this or you can make it a little bit um, even more desaturate like so click OK don't exact and don't exaggerate with your colors I think this looks fine I'm going to click on that flare and go to edit duplicate and then I'm going to put it behind my text this time and actually put it somewhere different um, maybe out of the frame and there we go now we can duplicate it once more and actually go to the options again, delete everything again and now we want to add maybe this one right here and change the global color to an orange color, uh, color tone. Uh, maybe like a darker orange um, more close to the, to the red channel and also you'll have to change for the streak um, the color source to global so it actually turns to that orange color. And make it a little bit brighter there we go okay and okay and there we have it our new flare we can actually keep it right here on the sides I actually like that I'm going to duplicate it once more and maybe put it on top here and reposition this by clicking on the title you will actually see these knots and maybe position one right here duplicate it once more put it on top and click here and reposition maybe one here and this looks pretty cool so this one I want to animate it go to the beginning of your timeline click on the keyframe for position also go into the flicker right here and change the speed to something like 15 amount to 35 and then go like five seconds I want my title to be like five seconds long and then I will move this uh, to towards a, a different location maybe a little bit more to the right and then also well actually that's it uh, now we have a little bit of an animation in here and what you can do is press U on the keyboard to see those uh, keyframes you can do the same thing for all of these other um, lens flares right here so click on them click on the stopwatch for the position at the beginning of each of these flares go towards five seconds right here and maybe you want to animate them a little bit just slightly give it some subtle movement but that's just going to make it look a little bit more interesting to see okay so now we have some slight movement here in the background what we want to do now is actually go and close everything up like so and toggle the switches and make the title a 3d layer then I'm going to right click new and add a new camera to my scene I will click OK and then for the title press P and hold shift press R on the keyboard and create a new keyframe for the position and the orientation also go to five seconds and what we want to do here is actually uh, click on this diamond here so we create a new keyframe 
for our text here. And actually, I'm not actually at five seconds, so I'm going to one frame forward this and reposition my keyframe at exactly five seconds. And for the orientation, you can play a little bit with these values. Maybe you want to change your text a little bit, rotate it just a touch, very subtle, um, but that's going to give it some more animation as well. And now for the camera, we'll press P on the keyboard as well, create a new keyframe at the beginning of our timeline. And again, at five seconds, we want to actually zoom it in a little bit. And actually at the beginning, we want to zoom it out pretty far, move like four frames and zoom it pretty close like so. And now we'll have something like this and it actually bounces in the camera. And then another last thing that we wanna do is click on our flare, click on the brightness here and maybe increase it to a crazy amount. Press um, press U on the keyboard to reveal that keyframe and move like 10 seconds into time or maybe 15 and set this back to 100. Right click on this keyframe, keyframe assistance, easy ease. And then we're going to select these two keyframes, go to edit, copy. And we're going to the beginning of our timeline and click on all these layers, select them with control selected. So we have them all selected together and press v control V on the keyboard to paste it. And now you'll have like a nice flash at the beginning of your intro. And this might actually take a little bit too long. So what you can do is press U on the keyboard, select all these last keyframes and just um, bring them in a little bit. And of course you can add more of these flares, scale them up a little bit to actually really make the first um, frame to be as bright as you can get it. So uh, maybe here at the beginning you want to still click on one of these flares and maybe increase the size like so. Actually I'm going to do that for one over here so the text is also covered. And click on the keyframe, four frames forward, 100 and there we go. And also right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease and there we go. And that's basically it. So this is how I created our Fast and the Furious title. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel if you aren't already so you can see our future content. And if you're interested in filmmaking assets, definitely check out our website. We have a bunch of cool stuff to offer and it also helps to support our channel right here. So yeah, then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>